A Racine County judge issuing a reversal over a controversial high school wrestling call. The decision comes two years after the wrestler's father sued to keep his son's championship hopes alive. Fox 6 investigator Brian Polson shows you the video at the center of the lawsuit and how the ruling could impact high school sports all across the country. In a high school wrestling match, there are three people on the mat and one of them has no fans. It's a thankless job. Few know that better than Michael Arndt. I've had a number of things said about my mother that I know aren't true. One of the state's most experienced wrestling referees who got sued over a controversial call in 2019. I've seen the video over and over again. Defending state champion Hayden Halter led his conference title match seven to one when Arndt awarded one point to his opponent for an escape. The man objecting is Hayden's father, Sean Halter. Your opponent has to be free of you. Hayden didn't like the call either. He essentially said, that's bullshit. So Arndt assessed a penalty for unsportsmanlike conduct. I didn't hear nothing, coach didn't hear nothing. And then this happened. And he flexed in the crowd. Flexed and yelled at the crowd. He then turned towards an opposing crowd and flexed. His dad says he was celebrating. There's a bunch of emotions going through a kid. The referee deemed it taunting and assessed a second unsportsmanlike penalty, which meant Halter was disqualified. I've never seen a kid get ejected for flexing. The implications were enormous. If you are disqualified from a tournament, you miss the next competition. If he couldn't wrestle at regionals, this is the end of his chance to defend a state title. Yep. Sean Halter wanted to appeal the suspension, but says the state's governing body for high school sports refused to listen. We couldn't even get a hold of them. We don't second guess the officials on that. Wade Lebecki is deputy director of the Wisconsin Interscholastic Athletic Association, or WIAA. We will not review a judgment call. Lebecki says the best person to decide if Halter was celebrating or taunting is the trained referee who witnessed the match in person. I don't doubt the the two calls in that situation at all. The WIA thinks they're untouchable. Um, they think they're, they're a higher power. So Halter took the WIAA to court. I think that they're opening up a Pandora's box. Racine County Judge Michael Piantek is now retired and did not respond to our request for an interview. But during an injunction hearing six days after the match, the judge said he heard no profanity and saw no taunting then ordered the WIAA to allow Halter to keep on wrestling while the case was pending. A state champion a year ago. He went all the way back to state. Hayden Halter of Waterford gets the fall on map two. And won again to the disapproval of some fans. I think it's uh, childish because um, there really is no reason. I mean, these people don't know me. In a post-match interview with the Southeast Wisconsin Preps report, Hayden thanked his parents for keeping his dream alive. They kept going and fighting for me and we got them on. But the decision was unsettling for Wisconsin high school referees. You should not have to worry about being second guessed in a court of law even more troubling for the National Association of Sports Officials. Because it, it destroys sports. Which is based in Racine. Did I feel like getting in my car and going down to see Judge Piontek right downtown here in Racine? Yeah, yeah I thought it crossed my mind. Barry Mano is founder of NASO and publisher of Referee Magazine, and he encouraged the WIAA to keep fighting the Halter lawsuit. Because it strikes at the heart of what you're asking us to do what obligations you're asking us to fulfill. Mano says it's not just a concern in wrestling, but in every sport at any level. You're asking us to make judgment calls. We get most of them right, but it's not a perfect world. Alan Goldberger is a referee, attorney, and author of Sports Officiating, A Legal Guide. If the officials were to be overturned every time a mistake was documented, then again, there'd be nothing but lawsuits about games. In 2005, a New York high school wrestler sued after a referee ejected him for tossing his headgear in the air, but the state Supreme Court refused to intervene. In 2010, a West Virginia judge tossed out the suspensions of four football players for fighting, but the state Supreme Court overturned the decision. 
and in 2014, an Oklahoma high school demanded the final minute of a football game be replayed after officials mistakenly called back a game-winning touchdown. The judge declined to change the outcome, writing, it would inevitably usher in a new era of robed referees. That is not the job of the United States court system. Sean Halter says his lawsuit wasn't really about the referee, but about how the WIAA applied its own rules on suspensions. And a rule that was changed later. After the conference tournament in 2019, Halter tried to quickly enter his son in a junior varsity match, hoping to burn the one match suspension. Basically a known loophole. Even though Hayden had never wrestled JV before. Is that not conniving? Is that not trying to game the system? The association refused to allow it then later clarified that rule in writing. If you are a varsity athlete and you get disqualified from a varsity match or contest, you should sit the varsity next varsity contest. More than two years after the controversial match, Hayden Halter's case finally went to trial in May. And last month, a different Racine County judge, Eugene Gazorkowitz, ruled in favor of the WIAA, which promptly stripped Halter of his 2019 state championship. Yeah, but it, nothing changes. Uh, he won a state title. You can never re-wrestle the bracket. I think it's, it's highly significant. Goldberger says the decision does not create new law, but reaffirms more than 50 years of legal precedent that protects the role of referees as the final arbiter in sports. And that's part of education-based athletics. You might say the WIAA flexed its muscle and won. Brian Polson, Fox 6 Investigators. Now, Sean Halter and his son have until early September to decide if they will appeal the ruling. They tell Fox 6 they have not yet decided what they plan on doing. Meanwhile, Hayden Halter is now a graduate of Waterford Union High School, still considering where he intends to wrestle in college this fall.